All right, what is going on guys? HG Jam is here back with another Street Fighter 5 video. And it has been quite some time since I've done a video like this, me talking to you guys about some intricate things I find out with Mika or just some tech revolving around Rainbow Mika. So it is good to be back and I do apologize for the kind of sporadic uploads I've been doing recently. But yeah, let's get on with today's video. Today, we are going to be looking at another matchup knowledge video. Uh, more specifically, uh, it's going to be revolving around Kami and... Uh, how her backdash fares against uh, Mika's meaty forward hard punch setups. Now, uh, I, I wouldn't deem this to be game changing uh, in this matchup, particularly, or maybe put it in uh, uh, heavily into Kami's favor. Just something I stumbled across last night because, long story short, I had a couple of sets with this Kami player and I went for some uh, the usual forward hard punch meaty setups I go for. And Kami's backdash was avoiding them. Now, when I was playing last night, obviously, you know, in the mood and everything, I thought it was either because it was lagging or I either just mistimed things. So, and that wasn't the case. Um, I went into training mode today and I was meticulous about it. I went through the entire cast and I went through the various scenarios and multiple situations. And I tried to get, like I said, I went up against the whole cast and it, it seems that only uh, Kami or this, this scenario happens with Kami, which, it, you know, saves me a lot of trouble. Yeah, having to think about the rest of the cast. So yeah, this is why we've got Kami as the example today. So yeah, without further ado, let me just illustrate to you guys what I mean. So let me just double check that my stick is working. It seems fine now. Um, just let you know, I'm going to apologize in advance because my jab and my medium button, uh, they quote unquote fail to function uh, when I want them to. So if my execution has severely, you know, dropped, um, I do apologize in advance. It's my stick being faulty and I'm looking to get a new one soon but yeah let's jump straight into this so one of the setups uh i usually go for uh, i'm gonna set up a wake up crouching jab first so one of the setups i usually go for regarding me e forward hard punch is i'll combo into wingless airplane and i'll you know i'll do this now i've got cami to do like a wake up crouch jab which it works so when you do delay wake up i combo into wingless airplane and i do this setup here and it works. That that's guaranteed. That happens all the time. So what happened last night is I went for this setup, and uh, the opponent tried to do crouch jab first. It didn't work. So it was to no avail. So what he did was he changed it up. And he went to a back dash instead. So this is what happens when you go for the same setup, and the back dash happens. The back dash avoids the uh, meaty forward hard punch. Now. I tried to like be very specific and try to think. Oh, it might be like a frame data thing. So you know maybe uh cami's backdash starts up differently than everybody else or the backdash frames are different but i've done this on every single character and it's just been the same thing it's just that cami's backdash at the start just completely avoids it now if you're like me and like to do uh frame perfect meaty setups uh the backdash avoids the frame perfect meaty forward hard punch in that situation and that's just one of the setups i do so i thought okay let me try a different uh meaty forward hard punch setup so i went for this one instead afterwards and then the backdash avoid that one as well. And if you don't think that's legit, I'll change it back to the button. And then we'll go right there. And we'll showcase this. So it does work. It's a legit setup. It's just that Kami's backdash is avoiding it. And then I thought, okay, let me try another one. So like I said, I tried this on numerous occasions, multiple different setups. And the backdash was avoiding it. Now... This is where I got me scratching my head, so I had to go through all the meaty forward hard punch setups I know, and thankfully, um, it doesn't avoid this one, so apparently, I, no, I believe Kami does get hit by this one, yeah, the forward hard punch will hit Kami out of her back there, she won't get the crush counter, she'll just get hit out of the forward hard punch, oh sorry, she'll get, the forward hard punch will hit her out of her back there, sorry, tongue is twisted there, and if anyone's wondering, our jammers may be in the corner, it's a bit different, it might be like a different scenario, well, in the corner if she backdashes, uh, there's nowhere to go, so thankfully, she gets hit by that, uh, again, she won't get crush countered, uh, she'll just be launched by forward hard punch in the air, which is good, because I either get a combo or a 50-50, um, so yeah, that, that's what was happening last night, now, some of the solutions I was looking into, because again, this, this might be common knowledge to people, but it, it wasn't common knowledge to me. So I thought, let me look into this and note this down in my Mika versus Kami matchup notes. So one of the things you can do, uh, so 
you can do the same setup again but since you've got a lot of frame advantage to work with you can actually delay your forward hard punch obviously not like that and turn into a flipping tortoise uh, you want to kind of do it a little bit quicker um, so you delay the forward hard punch a little bit because you're like plus 10 or plus 11 frame advantage you want to delay the forward hard punch enough so that you can catch the back dash and potentially get that crush can as you saw there but give you enough time to uh, beat out a potential wake up button from Cami because sometimes you delay certain meaty setups uh, some, the button will beat you, uh, a, a reversal button will beat you but since I've got plenty of frame advantage to work with here you can just go for a delayed forward hard punch and it should, yeah, catch that that's brilliant so that's one thing you can do but me, uh, since I'm, I try to be frame perfect with my meaties I, I don't want to have to worry or think about uh, being uh, or delaying setups to catch certain defensive options from other characters but with this character you're going to have to be uh, cognizant of this situation now uh, even with the other setup I was doing uh, let's see this should work okay maybe not uh, I, may, I might have delayed a little bit too much yeah you just you have to delay it to catch the button and then we put the backdash back on as well there we go yeah you just want it to catch it doesn't have to crush counter it just has to catch it overall uh, so you got to be uh, very sharp and very attentive towards this stuff here another thing you can do um is if you don't want to delay your forward hard punch just change the meaty setup entirely uh, that's what i was doing and this is why i come up with various meaty setups for various scenarios just in case i get put on the spot now i'm not getting this uh meaty setup frame tight because my stick is messing up on me, but I do want to show this to you. All right. Oh, for God's sake, medium punch, please come out. All right, there we go. Uh, because this meaty setup right here is a meaty crouch jab setup, and Cami should not be able to back that shit, but my stick is failing me. There we go. Okay, the two jabs worked, but my EXP, oh, my uh, shooting peach didn't come out. But you can change the meaty setup entirely. And then stop her from backdashing there. You won't get as much damage. It won't be as uh, the punish won't be as prevalent as the crush counter forward hard punch. But you'll definitely be able to catch her uh, out of that or stop her from backdashing. There you go. So that's lovely. Um, again, in the corner, you won't have to worry about it because there's nowhere to backdash to. So it, just a few things to work on and definitely a few things to keep in mind. So again, just to regurgitate. Uh, Cammy's backdash avoids, if you are frame tight with your forward meaty hard punch, now this only occurs mid-screen, again reiterate, this only occurs mid-screen so you don't have to worry about it in the corner, uh, once you've kind of shut down those two options, maybe the crouch jab and the backdash, uh, you got to be again cognizant, this doesn't happen with, uh, sorry, invincible moves, so her EX cannon spike or her critical art, those will just beat these setups entirely, so once you've excluded those out of the equation, you just got to be aware of your timing, and just the situation you want to go for these meaty setups in it happens mid-screen and if you are frame perfect or try to be frame perfect like me cami's backdash avoids a frame perfect forward hard punch setups mid-screen uh, i'll leave the specific setups uh in the description below to make it easier maybe some of you guys do these meaty setups maybe you don't but since i'm very finicky with my meaties in street fighter 5 uh this is something i definitely had to note down and I wanted to show this to all of you guys because uh, I felt it was important. Like I said, it's nothing game changing. It's just something you have to be aware of. And it might happen to you in tournament. It might happen to you when you fight other Kami players online. But yeah, there are solutions. Uh, I've showcased them. So hopefully this video has made sense. But we're going to wrap it up there. Nice and short video. Hopefully I can keep it under 10 minutes or around 10 minutes. But yeah, uh, like I said, I'll leave uh, further details regarding this video in the description below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, you're more than welcome to. If not, it's not the end of the world. We can all go along and about our day. Uh, if you want to follow me on the other following social media outlets, my Twitter and my Twitch are in the YouTube description below. So you can give me a follow on one of those. I'm trying to stream a bit more, but uh, again, it's been mad sporadic because I've been busy and doing other things uh, in real life. But yeah, yeah. Look, hopefully this video was insightful and you guys can walk away and go, hey, Jam has taught me something new about the Kami matchup. I need to, you know, make these notes, uh, these copious random notes I made and made it intricate and nice and neat. And then I can talk about this when I'm doing uh, streams or maybe commentary or whatever. But yeah, this has been your boy HC Jammers and I will see you guys on the next video. So until then, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.